All right, folks. So many of you are probably thinking about getting 14th gen CPUs. Let's make sure you're ready to go. Uh, and how do you do that? Well, if you're buying a brand new one, folks, make sure it has BIOS uh, flashback on it. All right. Um, lots of different versions of that. They're usually on the better motherboards. Uh, we'll take a look at that here in the, the future. But, uh, you know, first thing to do is see, are the BIOS updates even available yet, right? So uh, if we go look at, say, this uh, really nice ROG Maximus C790 Hero, and, you know, when you come in here, you would click on Support, Driver Utility, BIOS Firmware, and then you start looking through these, and voila, October 10th actually shows update microcode for next-gen Intel processors. Um, there may have been some other updates along the way or not. So in this case, uh, you know, the latest BIOS update is the definitely got the, uh, the update for next gen. All right. So regardless of, you know, whether it had set it down here, up here, wherever you want to grab the uh, newest. Okay. Which is this 10, six. You'll download that one. This is going to be cumulative. It's going to take the best of uh, what the ones underneath it have to offer, right? Now let's look at uh, ASUS here, Z790. And you same thing, support. You click on BIOS, and then here's all the BIOS. On this case, folks, they actually did the BIOS update for uh, new CPU next generation support here in June of 20, excuse me, June 21st, 2023, right? So um, you don't want to download this one. You want to grab, once again, the newest one, which would be right up here, right? So most likely, if you see this in June, you're covered for 14th, right? Um, but you still, you still have to do the BIOS update. Um, now, do another one, Gigabyte Z790UD. Uh, I have this one. Well, actually, I actually have the AX version, but uh, so when you look at the newest BIOS on here, September 12th, uh, is there anything in here about next gen? No. August 29th? No. July 28th? Uh, there it is. Okay. Amazing it wasn't the first thing on here, but uh, once again, grab the newest BIOS update. That'd be F9, all right? Let's see. So, you know, how did I how did I figure this out? Well, without 14th gen, uh, there's some articles out there, different websites. Uh, they tell you, you know, things are, uh, that they're ready to go. Let's do one of these uh, completely from the beginning, though, just so you guys can see exactly how I found the BIOS. Um, you know, if you have questions, I got tons of videos on how to update BIOS, and good chance that the motherboard you bought might be on this channel because we have done this a ridiculous amount of times. We bought a lot of motherboards. So make sure you subscribe, all right? Uh, here's one that I have, Z690 Eris Pro. Because I think this is one I have, yeah. So you search for it. Then you come over here, support. And these are pretty much all going to be the same. Downloads. Uh, then we want BIOS. And for this example, let's see, June. There it is. June 8th for this motherboard, okay? So I need to update that. I don't know if I'm going to make any new videos, but I probably won't want to get my 14 Gen CPU in because I'll run it through all the, all the different motherboards, make some more videos out of it, try and make a little extra money, get, you know, make a little more money off each of those investments. All right, so you've got all this, okay? Now, if you have a motherboard, and I don't think this one has the BIOS flashback button, but uh, if you don't have the BIOS flashback button, then you're going to need a 12th or 13th gen Intel CPU to update this BIOS with before you put the 14th gen, all right? Now, if you have, and I do like my own videos, and I'm proud of it, folks. Um, <laughs> I watched this a second ago, and I'm like, yeah, I might as well like it. But, all right, so if you have this 
Eris Ultra Z690. Um, this example, I actually had the 13th gen CPU installed, all right? And I did the BIOS update. Um, you know, check this video out if you want to see how it's done. And it's pretty similar to all of these. Um, takes a little bit of effort, but uh, you'll see in this video how I set this up. Um, you don't have to have the CPU installed. You don't have to have RAM installed. You don't have to grab a graphics card installed. Um, but if you already have the CPU in, you can do it this way, okay? And there is on this motherboard flashback, the BIOS flashback button, right? So sometimes it's on the I.O. shield, um, which would be this area here, right? Uh, I think it, you'll find those on Eris and some of the other brands, um, and maybe MSI. But there is, you know, other things to watch out for. You will have a specific uh, USB that you have to use for the BIOS update. And offhand, I can't remember which one it is for this computer. Uh, sometimes it is one of the special red ones. Sometimes it's a you know certain black one. But uh, yeah, just make sure you update that BIOS. All right. Now let's uh, let's try and find an MSI because I think that is the only one I did not do. And I have an MSI Z690. I think it's actually this one, uh, except it's the Wi-Fi version. So, hell, we might just update the BIOS for that. Um, now, this one, folks, before we look for the BIOS, let's look at the pictures, see if we can get these to pop up. All right, so there you go, folks. This is the BIOS flashback button on the MSIs, all right? Important to know that they have it and where it is. All right, so if we come in here, you know, we don't want that support. We want this one. And then we want to click on drivers and downloads and BIOS. Almost feel like we're already in here. Updated CPU code. Da, 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 da. Support next gen CPU, folks. Boom. This one was in September of 2023. All right. So, um, yeah, these are scattered throughout. You saw some were in October. This one's in September. You saw June and July. Um, but yeah, just make sure you get that BIOS update. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Let me just make sure we're still recording. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.